Hello everyone, Mars goes into Pisces on the 18th of May. He's more than happy to be here, especially as Jupiter is already transiting in that sign. He remains there until the 27th of June. At the end of the transit, however, he goes into a dangerous Gandanta position. Let me tell you about what this will mean for you and for the world. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. And if the video is good for you, give it a thumbs up. Let's begin. Oh, thank goodness Mars has got away from Shani and he's with his great friend Jupiter. Venus is there, but Venus is moving on. So it's the conjunction of Mars and Jupiter in Pisces that brings a lot of energy, positive energy into everyone's life. It's empowering to have Mars with Jupiter because don't forget there is still this balancing factor of Rahu and Shani hemming as it were in this papakartari yoga across the sign of pisces but mars gives some balance to this his energy is very favorable in this sign the maleficence of mars is tamed in pisces especially here he's with jupiter he makes good decisions righteous decisions and he wants to bring a clear action plan into everybody's life that has good future potential so in some area of your life you get a boost of activity a new boost of ideas and the right way becomes clear you make marvelously good and clear decisions and take enthusiastic action and opposition virtually disappears but check that mars has an eighth aspect also onto k2 in the sign of libra now, k2 rules freedom on every level and when he's got this eighth aspect from mars upon him one of transformation it's like you just want to kick out and get out of some very stifling situation in your life so the enthusiasm to make a new beginning is here and the absolute determination to free yourself from something is equally present some areas of life are definitely favored by this conjunction of mars and jupiter first of all education secondly having children childbirth is definitely easier when mars is with jupiter generally and mars and jupiter in the fertile sign of pisces with venus it's very easy to get pregnant if you are looking to do so take some note of that but remember also Mercury remains retrograde for some part of this transit up until June the 3rd. It won't take away from this positivity. You see, one transit doesn't nullify another, but it's always a balancing act. Check the link below to the Mercury retrograde video already on my channel. In politics and world affairs, it's actually quite favorable to have Mars with Jupiter in this sign. It makes people more ethical, more concerned to cooperate. But watch out. It's almost like the calm before the storm, I have to tell you, because very soon Mars will enter the Gandanta point at the end of this transit and then go into his own sign of Aries where Rahu awaits a quite explosive combination of energies. So definitely note the Gandanta transit of Mars, everyone. The actual date is 26th of June, but you will even feel it a little bit before 24th, 25th, because on the 26th of June, Mars is at 29 degrees of Pisces. He's moving from the water to the fire, and the fire is boiling up the water. It's one of the most dangerous Gandanta points in the Zodiac, the Pisces, the spiritualism coming into the creative fire of Aries. So this is going to confuse everybody's mind. Don't make any new decisions around the end of June this date. Don't start anything new. It's going to be absolutely up and down every minute. And more than that, you will make wrong decision. So this Gandanta point is very, very important to be aware of. People become anxious people become full of emotion and everything is just completely tangling up in confusion when mars a planet of action goes into a gandanta transit how to use the readings everybody i'm using a vedic sidereal chart so you must also use your vedic horoscope use the moon and ascendant position to get the best readings combine both if you have a western chart with a tropical zodiac you must change that take 23 degrees away from the degree of the moon and ascendant to make sure that you have the right sign for Aries, Moon, Aries, Ascendant, both when Mars, your Lord, goes into the 12th house and conjuncts with the planet Jupiter. This really puts you in mind of some great planning energy. It's in the 12th house of your chart. You're planning for your future in a big way. 
you're especially planning for travel or you may even be on the move because Jupiter is your ninth house lord of foreign lands. So this is superb to be on the move, going somewhere, foreign countries, pilgrimage, religious experience, spiritual knowledge, everything where you are getting away from the mundane and refreshing your soul, basically. Financially, it's a very important junction point because Mars is your lord and he's with Jupiter, your ninth house. You're planning for the future financially but he's in the house of expenses. You've got to curb it all. Mars, Jupiter aspecting sixth house of loans, credit cards, all of these things you need to cut back. You need to have a new regime. And if you are in business, Mars is eighth aspect onto K2 seventh house. Something is not working in the marketplace right now. You need to cut your losses. But your Lord, Lord of your Ascendant, going into the 12th house, there could be some health issues coming up again. Take care of your health. Mars in this house shows restless sleep, insomnia, etc. Although Jupiter is counteracting this in some way. Mars and Jupiter aspecting 6th house also means that you have to take some dynamic action about something in your health, which you've been leaving. You've not been taking any notice of it. It's going to demand some action. Watch out for quarrels and confrontations, though, because Mars is fourth aspect on the house of siblings, neighbours and cousins. There may be some confrontation going on there. In your relationships, though, spousal relationship, girlfriend, boyfriend, even friendship, good friendship relationships, there's some tension now. K2 is actually in this house of Libra and Mars is dynamically aspecting K2. You have to leave behind some relationship situation, some of you. Something isn't working and you have to be more open and honest. You see, Mars here is actually making you very secretive during this transit. Mars and K2 share a fire energy. So because Mars is aspecting third house, you may come out with things out of the blue and shock people by what you are saying. Try to be moderate in your speech at this time, but at the same time, being honest, being open will help you to see where these relationships really belong in your life. For Taurus, Moon, Taurus, Lagna, what a boost to your income is going to come when Mars, Lord of your 7th and your 12th goes into the 11th. He's a Lord of your expenses, but he's gone 12th to himself. So expenses get curbed. Why? Because there's more income coming in. You're totally focused in your goals, totally focused in your ambitions. You know what you have to do. You know what action has to be taken and you do not hesitate anymore. Something that Taurians often do. You can often put things off until the last moment. You're famous for that. But no, not now. You know what you want and the doors are opening up. It's great time to realize long held ambitions. Make the most of it. It's a small window of opportunity. Don't lose this time. If you are seeking new relationships, if you are open to that, then you're definitely going to have opportunity with your Lord Venus there at the beginning of the transit. Venus, Mars, Jupiter aspecting fifth house of romance. Strong attractions can be there. In ongoing relationships, Mars 7th Lord with Jupiter in this house is going to make you very aware of your future plans, of your financial arrangements also with your partner. These need to be sorted. They've not been working well. So Mars Jupiter makes you plan your future very carefully with your partner. Important health concern is going to be dynamically changed by this transit. Mars has an eighth aspect of transformation to where K2 is. Some long-standing problem is going to have a whole new attitude towards it. You're going to take dynamic action to dislodge something which has been causing you a great deal of discomfort and trauma even. So dynamic action in relation to health issues will help. And of course... If this is a house of credit cards, debt, litigation, competition, Mars aspect here shows that you will deal with these in a really full on way. Getting rid of competitors, winning in litigation, it's all favourable. Indeed, the only one thing that is difficult about the whole transit is that Mars has a fourth aspect on the second house of speech. So focus on your own goals now. You may upset a few people, especially family members. And the good news is, though, that Mars is going to increase your desire to make changes in your diet. Second house is your food and your drink intake. This could again be a big boost to your health. For Gemini, Moon and Ascendant, a little bit of diplomacy would go very far when Mars, your 6th house law, goes into the 10th house of your chart. There's a lot of competition, a lot of infighting and a great deal of ambition floating around in your work environment and you're right in the middle of it all. 
If you are self-employed or a business person, Jupiter is your seventh house lord of marketplace. Together with Mars, you can start a whole new venture, a whole new business enterprise or just expand. It's all favourable. Now, the fourth aspect of Mars onto your ascendant is really favourable. It gives you a real dynamic interaction, as I say, with other people. Don't upset people in the workplace, but generally your health is improving. You're feeling fitter, happier and more active. Just as well, you're feeling so fit and healthy because Mars and Jupiter are aspecting the fourth house. You may be even thinking of moving now or be in the middle of a big move or making changes, renovations to your home space. It's all favourable for every one of these things. However, those of you in education may have a little bit of trouble because Mars aspecting to K2 in the fifth house. You're not understanding aspects of the cause. You're becoming restless, bored, frustrated by it and there definitely needs to be something swept away. So many Make necessary changes so that education is becoming meaningful for you. That's very important to do during this time. Now, the eighth aspect of Mars onto the fifth house shows some transformational energy in this house of children. Children could be getting sick, having problems, and you're having to even change domestic space to deal with this. A lot of energy has to go into this situation. If you are seeking to start a family, Mars could actually show delays in this or some issues which need seeing to before you can go ahead successfully. Even sometimes where you are not seeking to have a family, Mars could conversely show unexpected pregnancy. For Cancer Moon and Cancer Ascendant, what a fantastic transit for you when Mars is with Jupiter in the ninth house of your chart, giving you enthusiasm to really go beyond the boundaries of your life. It's especially good for foreign travel, for anything to do with foreign lands, because don't forget Mars also aspects the 12th house, which is about foreign lands. You're a real seeker of knowledge with this Mars Jupiter in this ninth house, especially all those hidden secrets of life because Mars aspects 12th house like astrology, jyotish, occult study, etc. These can go very well. You have so much enthusiasm for these studies now and you do exceptionally well. If you are in education now, you're transforming it completely. You're, you're either giving 100% or you're just leaving it behind one or the other because Mars has an eighth aspect to the fourth house of your basic education so you are either wanting to give 100% to the course or you're totally giving it up but either way it is the right decision for you you're thinking of the future what's going to benefit you and if you should continue with the course excellent results and dynamic potential is definitely there Watch out though because Mars in this house will give a little bit of competition and confrontation in your life as he aspects the third house of quarrel. So especially with your siblings, neighbours, even friends around you, you're, you've got a little bit of edge to you now and it could cause some contention. Watch relations with your father also. You're feeling very restless, that's the point. And local travel, far distant travel is definitely favoured in general. But of course, Mercury is currently retrograde in the 11th house, causing some delays. Check the video below. Now, Mars aspect onto the fourth house. This is where K2 is, showing that you have to let go of the past in some way. You have to find a whole new way to live your life. And you're very attached to, to where you've been. It's hard for you to do that. But domestic changes definitely have to be taken into account and may need to be made urgently. And for some of you, because K2 is here, mother may be having issues. And you have to give a lot of energy and attention to that also. Leo Ascendant, Leo Moon, Mars is your yoga karika planet. He's with Jupiter, a friend to your Lord the Sun, as is Mars. So Mars and Jupiter powering up your eighth house. Financially, it's a total opportunity for you. So check out all of those old savings accounts, investment accounts, stocks and shares. Start again. There's a brilliant opportunity for your long-term profit. If you know what to do, you should definitely go ahead because Mars, Jupiter are excellent excellent for your financial future. If you are in business, any sort of self-employment though, you've got to totally turn around some things. You've got to get rid of what is not working. You have to be ruthless at this time, but this is what you find easy to do when you feel this power beneath you. So go with this. Don't be afraid to just turn things around in a whole new direction business-wise.
If you are in employment, there may be confrontation with your work colleagues though, because you're not satisfied in your present situation. You're looking for more income, more expansion. Take caution with this though. Don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. Some long-term health issues need to be attended to now. Mars and Jupiter together aspecting the second house. New medication, new diet regime is definitely going to help you at this time. Now Mars's eighth aspect is on to the third house of your chart. Your communication with the world, your goals, your ambitions are changing now. Things that you used to think were worth fighting for no longer seem to be so. This may affect communications with your siblings, cousins, neighbours as well. You don't want to get involved in all these confrontations anymore. You just want to leave them all behind. You want to do things that actually come from your heart, have a deep meaning for you spiritually and of course materially. But you definitely don't want to become involved in petty confrontations anymore. And that's an important transformation taking place in your life right now. For Virgo Ascendant and Virgo Moon, both Mars and Jupiter in the seventh house of your chart, it's a very important few weeks for your relationships. There's going to be some quarrels, difficulties. Mars is in Maracastana and it's going to be difficult to see eye to eye. But behind it all, you're going to have a definite new direction. If you've wanted to make relationship permanent, propose, do something really important relationship-wise, this is the month when you will pluck up the courage to do that. It could equally be the time when you decide that the whole relationship isn't working for you and you pluck up the courage to even talk about these dynamics. Either way though, Mars and Jupiter shows a real understanding is going to come of what your partner's motivations are, what your joint goals are. So in all relationships, it's a really important time for vital conversations. The same applies, by the way, to your very close friendships and even to your business partnerships. In your career work situation, you're becoming very impatient with restrictions and situations which you do not like. Be really careful that you do not upset people. Words could be spoken that are not helpful to you long term. But the Mars-Jupiter opposition to the Ascendant is a very good aspect because this shows that you get renewed vitality, enthusiasm and optimism about your health situation, probably from a completely different consultant. New consultations happen that give you new advice that you need to take on board if you have health problems. Indeed, in some cases, because of Mars's eighth aspect of transformation, I've just spoken about on the video, onto the house of food and even medication, you may have to change medication regime once again, only in consultation with experts, please. And of course, you need to look at your diet. Someone's going to give you the real idea of what you should be eating to help your health. Take notice of this. And also your speech. Mars aspecting second house where you have K2. Are you expressing yourself honestly, openly, or simply in these angry outbursts? K2 is a big temper, by the way, because he's also fire energy. So are you expressing how you feel? Do people misunderstand you? These may have been happening now recently quite a lot, these misunderstandings. You need to come out now and be straightforward, honest with people, even if you're afraid to do so. It can only help the situation. For Libra Ascendant, Libra Moon, Mars coming into your sixth house. Now, Mars is your seventh lord. Sometimes he takes you into direct confrontation as, as well as indicating relationship issues. In the sixth house, he's very strong to get rid of all the enemies or the litigation issues. So if you're having issues with your partner, you're going to sort them out or it's going to be make or break situation. One of the two, you're going to come to some agreement. You'll be pleased about that. However, be cautious of the Gandanta dates I've given you on the video where Mars is going from the 6th to the 7th house. It's the worst time because that's a time when you won't be able to find any agreement at all with your business partners, with your close friends, with your spouse. There's so much emotion going on that it's best not to even try. It's best to try to be self-contained when Mars crosses from the 6th to the 7th house on the dates given, 24th, 5th, 6th, basically onwards of June. Mars and Jupiter here guarantee that you'll be able to get on top of some litigation, some sort of competition, some sort of situation where you are, you are feeling overwhelmed. You beat the competition by direct and swift action. So don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. You're going to win against the odds most definitely. 
If you have pets, small domestic animals, Mars and Jupiter in the sixth house can be favourable for sorting out long-term issues with them and also for bringing new animals into your home. And your health definitely benefits by this Mars-Jupiter conjunction in your sixth house. You have to face up to some long-term health issues which have been bothering you for some time but you've been letting them slip. Now you need to take real action about them. You need to get consultation and once you get a clearer idea of what you have to do, you'll be able to move forward. Forward. Education definitely benefits and all students do very well in this time, especially because Mars has aspect on the 12th house. Study is intense and you get the best from it. Connections to foreign lands by this fourth aspect of Mars and the seventh aspect are definitely favoured now, but it's more for future planning. If you are travelling actually into foreign lands or any distance now, be aware that Mercury is retrograde for some of this transit. Check the link below. One of the best things though about Mars and Jupiter in your sixth house is that you're cutting through with all the clutter in your life. You're getting rid of things you don't need, including credit cards and loans. You're sorting out expenses in a very good way by the aspect to the 12th house. But you're also concerned about your life direction because Mars has an 8th aspect onto K2 currently in your first house. Have you been thinking about where you are going, what your long-term goals are? It is suddenly becoming clear that you've been drifting for some time and you have to take constructive action to get yourself back on focus. Mars here is excellent for that. For a Scorpio Ascendant and Scorpio Moon, it's a really dynamic transit for you when your Lord goes into the fifth house and conjuncts to Jupiter. Now, Mars in the fifth house can be a little over the top sometimes, but because he is your Lord, you take control of a really difficult situation in your life. You gain a lot of power from this transit. Mars is your Lord, but also Lord of the sixth house of competitors, competition, litigation. He's gone back away from the sixth house into the fifth house. And also, by the way, Lord of health. So health issues get removed. Competition gets dealt with. Litigation goes in your favor. There is so much power given to you. Make sure that you don't overuse it. Mars and Jupiter increase your confidence and your dynamism. You make a very strong impression on other people at this time. If you are actually going for an interview, it's excellent because Mars, Jupiter aspecting 11th house give you success and prominence, even promotion in your job. New income, whole new work environment, all of these are definitely possible. Another thing, you're not adverse to taking a few risks, particularly financially, with Mars and Jupiter in the house of speculation. Because Mars aspects the eighth house of stocks and shares, investment, savings, you're cutting them all to the core, you're starting again, you're being really daring with this. It may pay off, but please take note that Mars also has aspect to the twelfth house of loss, where K2 is. So you need to get rid of some things financially which are not working. You need to cut your losses as well. That's important to remember. The same dynamic applies to business situations, whether working for yourself or in a business partnership. Also, your joint finances with your spouse. You need to transform them from the top to the bottom. Cut the losses and it's going to work out well. The same for students. Mars Jupiter makes you either give your all to the course or completely leave it behind. It's going to be one of the two. There's just no middle ground. If you're seeking romance, a very strong attraction likely to happen when Venus and Mars are together with Jupiter in the fifth house. Venus, of course, your seventh house lord, particularly at the beginning of this transit. And if you are seeking to start a family, get pregnant, it's definitely also highly favoured at this time. Sagittarius moon and ascendant, this Mars-Jupiter conjunction, of course your Lord is Jupiter in a Kendra house in your chart, Mars a powerful planet for you, this is the time to make the home changes you've been waiting to make, sell, move, renovate, decorate, make those big improvements, just turn it all around, so much power is with you. One thing is probably going to cost you more than you bargained for, though, because Mars rules your 12th house of loss and expenses. But you may have to just take these into account. Now, Mars rules your fifth house of education. He's gone back into the fourth house of your basic education situation as well. So there's a big educational change happening for students. Some of you are just completely giving up on the course, starting something different. It's a big shake up and it's probably going to be quite successful. You're in a very dynamic mood at the moment and Mars is fourth aspect on the seventh house and maybe moments of confrontation with your spouse, close friends, business partner, maybe something which you need to take into account.
Good. Now, this whole Mars Jupiter dynamic is aspecting directly into your 10th house of career. So, this is starting a whole new project, a whole new business, a whole new enterprise, or even new job. You may have interview now, which could be very successful, but one thing you have to be aware of. Now, the Mars Jupiter aspect on the 10th house shows many of you are really moving on in your career. There's a new job, there's a new process in your whole career, which is starting now and it's going to be very favorable long term. Short term, though, it may not give you the gains you want because Mars aspects K2 in the 11th house. You may have to take less income, less wages than you would like to have, at least to begin with. But long term, this could be good because you know that job satisfaction means the most to you in the world and that's what you've got the chance to have right now. For some of you also because of Mars's eighth aspect on the 11th house some of your network circles are not suiting your purposes anymore. You may be closing the door on the past and it's something which you know you've got to do even though it's hard for you. You like to stay connected with so many people but maybe some people are simply not on your wavelength anymore. Capricorn moon ascendant Mars going into the third house where Jupiter already is in a more like a standard position it's increasing the conflicts with your siblings with your co-workers even everything's coming up for a real showdown as it were but guess what you're going to come out as the winner the third house is about confrontation and battle and Mars is a person you want in this house to fight the battles and bring you out as the victor it's definitely going to help you to sort out some long-standing domestic situations Suddenly, all your doubts about your future course of action are going out of the window. Mars gives you a dynamic certainty about what you need to do. Especially students could start a whole new course of education or get tremendous success in their studies during this time. There's a real restlessness with Mars and Jupiter in the third house. You're all over the place communicating with so many people and you definitely feel like traveling. Foreign lands are pulling you or even just local travel. It could be very favorable now, but take account that Mercury is ready retrograde for some of this time causing some delays check the link below mars is very helpful in this house to be aspecting by fourth aspect the sixth house as i say you can win against enemies you can win in, in litigation you can get on top of all workplace difficulties now all of a sudden you are communicating clearly and your competitors know where they stand so you're in a very win-win situation here make the most of this power and your health will improve also now, Mars's dynamic aspect onto where K2 transits in the 10th house of your chart, something in your career has to give. It's just not satisfactory. Unexpected factors may have taken away the job. You may have had loss of job or a big job disappointment recently. Mars gives you the wherewithal to find a new future to continue on without giving up. So even though you've had disappointment loss in your career, Mars is showing you a new way forward, which means basically leaving the past and all of the past factors connected to your career well behind you. For Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Ascendant, now Mars in the second is a little bit tricky, a placement, because this is a natural house of Venus in the zodiac. And Mars here agitates this growth factor because Jupiter is there now, giving you financial opportunities. The problem is now that Mars has a fourth aspect to the fifth house of speculation and to the eighth house of investment. Now, Mars becomes a big agitator to your Lord Shani and Rahu, and he's in the second house of your chart, making you very, very daring in your financial dealings. He's aspecting fifth house of speculation, eighth house of stocks and shares, investments, wills, legacies, wherever there are big pots of shared money or loans even, you are being very, very daring here, maybe even ready to make a mistake. So be really careful to take financial advice don't blow away all the opportunity Jupiter is actually giving you. However, for some of you, there may be opportunity for some speculative gain, but you have to check the fifth Lord placement in your chart to see if you are due to get that. So I would always say exercise caution. Now, Mars aspect onto the fifth house may even show pregnancy, childbirth being a really big thing. This should go very well. If you're looking to start a family, that can definitely happen. And your family dynamics are actually very interesting now. There's a little bit of confrontation, but nonetheless, there's a lot of happiness and activity in your family circle. 
But watch your communication. When Mars is in this second house, you may say things off the cuff and it may cause hurt. Particularly some issues with your siblings may be there because Mars is your third house lord. Now, with K2 in the ninth house of your chart, you're definitely changing some of your religious beliefs or leaving aspects of your past behind you. And this could cause you confrontation with your family members during this period. Confrontation with your father, definitely. Confrontation with elders, conf confrontation with teachers, lecturers, mentors, guides, gurus even. You're going your own way. This is a house of your value system. Mars and Jupiter in this second house shows you are having a whole new value system in your life and it's becoming very important but causing confrontations with other people most definitely. It's certainly the case for those of you in education because Jupiter rules education with Mars here. You may feel like you want to start a new course or give up on a course. You really don't feel happy in your educational endeavors right now. Mars aspect to the fifth house is making you restless with it and Mars is eighth aspect to where K2 is you feel like it's just not the right course for you but don't make a quick action without consulting properly with those who know what your future could be here because Mars is making you impulsive and very self-willed with this conjunction to Jupiter. Well, Pisces, Moon and Pisces Ascendant, both Mars and Jupiter, your Lord Jupiter in the first house. It's all dynamism and determination. You're feeling very, very certain of what you want to do next in your life and you're all guns to achieve it. So there's a real dynamism, a real enthusiasm in your step now and it's actually going to work out very well for you. Mars Jupiter in the first house definitely helps your health. All of a sudden there is hope of cures for your illnesses or you find a new dynamic way of dealing with health issues. You've got plenty of energy, plenty of vitality with this Mars Jupiter transit. You'll also be having some heart to hearts with your near and dearer spouse, close friends, even business partners. But it's all good because you are expressing real feelings at last. And this creates actually less rather than more tension most of the time. It's a very good time for property deals, property sales, changes in your domestic situation, moving home, buying a home, landed interest. It's all favorable. Even buying a vehicle could be good. But don't forget Mercury is retrograde so you have to check those dates very carefully i put the video below this video of mercury retrograde but on the whole though you are decluttering and revitalizing your whole domestic situation you're definitely having a few secrets at this time though you see mars aspects the eighth house of your chart where k2 is k2 is your co-lord don't forget you may not know but jupiter and k2 rule pisces so k2 being in this eighth house is a very important factor now in your life about joint finances maybe spousal finances family finances wills legacies business investments joint business deals something where you're sharing some monetary factor with other people k2 shows that you've got a lot of investment in this personally and emotionally but do you know the truth of the situation Mars aspecting K2 makes some hidden factors come to the fore during this transit. Check out Mercury Retrograde right up on your screen right now and other current transits also. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. Goodbye for now and God bless everyone.